Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Good morning. It's Monday morning of Holy Week. The reading for this morning uh, is John chapter 12, uh, verses 1 through 11. There are a lot of things going on in this passage. I'll read it from the Contemporary English Bible, CEB, uh, and I invite you to listen for uh, what's being said about Judas, uh, what the argument of Judas is, the idea that the perfume that's used in this passage costs a ton of money, uh, and Judas is questioning its use, and the announcement that Jesus gives uh, on this passage, which comes as on the heels of Lazarus being raised from the dead, on Jesus' power, the power of God, saving Lazarus from the grave. Uh, and this is sort of a celebration time that they'd gathered. John 12, six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, home of Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Lazarus and his sisters had hosted a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was among those who joined him at the table. Then Mary took an extraordinary amount, almost three-quarters of a pound, a very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She anointed Jesus' feet with it, then wiped his feet dry with her hair. The house was filled with the aroma of the perfume. Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, complained. This perfume was worth a year's wages. Why wasn't it sold and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He carried the money bag and would take what was in it. Then Jesus said, leave her alone. This perfume was to be used in preparation for my burial, and, and this is how she's used it. You will always have the poor among you, but you won't always have me. Many Jews learned that he was there. They came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. The chief priests decided that they would kill Lazarus too. It was because of Lazarus that many of the Jews had deserted them and come to believe in Jesus. As we move forward in Holy Week, uh, we think of, or it's common maybe to think of, uh, the days getting darker, the time getting darker as we as we approach the the horror really that is the cross uh, on Friday, Thursday night, Friday, and uh, and so we find ourselves longing for light normally in this time as followers of Jesus, right? As we as we sort of re-experience the events of Holy Week, uh, these events that were. Uh, were given for us out of God's passionate love for us. But also, uh, we feel darkness closing uh, because of a global pandemic, because uh, the effects of now uh, three weeks past and into the fourth week of what I call virus exile, the, the quarantine in, in much of our country and world, uh, and in our area for sure where, where we sit, um, uh, wears on us, right? And and we long, we long for light. God, when when is the light coming? We're grateful for the sun shining outside, but but when will there be a lift here? And it will come. It will come. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see.